Alright, so I just want to make sure you guys clearly know how to do this. So this is 24 and a half inches long, and it starts out and it bulges, it goes out to 2 inches wide at 2 and a half inches from the front. Then it's 3 inches wide at 7 and a half inches from the front, and then it goes down to two and a half inches wide, 13 inches from the front, and continues two and a half inches wide all the way to the back. So I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna go do this on carpet. Uh, that's just where I prefer to cut this pink foam. So here's the first piece of the fuselage cut out. Now I'm gonna turn it using this side to sketch out this other side, the other half of the fuselage, and then I'll cut that out. All right, so I have the second piece here, and if I put these together, you can see that they are nearly perfectly the same size. They have this shape where it tapers out and tapers back in at the nose. Uh, we'll sand this down eventually, but that's great for now. So here's the plane. What happens is that one of these pieces goes on top. I haven't fit this in here yet. Yeah, it's going to need a little bit of trimming. Uh, so I kind of... I put it right against the end of the plane here. You see that, yeah, I'm going to have to trim a little bit off of here to get this to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So both of these pieces should fit in here tightly because it helps uh, create strength in this plane. So this one's fitting on here, this one's fitting on and you want to line up right at the butt end of the plane here and you want to make sure that it centers that it's centered uh, you just kind of look down the plane make sure everything's okay looks great so I'm going to pull these out and one by one glue them on there All right, so here's the plane as is. You can see this is starting to look like the final product a lot here. So now what I do is I'm gonna run a bead of glue down along here, along here, alongside the fuselage sections, the whole thing just to uh, add strength. I do that in pretty much all of my builds. All right, now I'm gonna put some glue in between these halves and glue them down together. All right, looks good. Um, I'm gonna go around, uh, kind of smooth out some of these, this front area of the pink foam. As you can see, it's got like this gap in here and it's just, uh, it's not nice edges. So I'm gonna kind of clean this up with my knife and then we'll sand that down later. Alright, just by sanding that down, I think you can see it gives it a really nice shape. I just busted off the nose there a little bit. Just sand it down, make it, make it look better. It'll be okay. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to move on to making some fins for it. Alright, so the fins for this plane, as you can see here, they extend up and down below the fuselage. They have this little area down here. So, what you're going to have to make is a little bit of this extra hangover here and a slot in the fin for it to slip over the uh, this main wing piece here. Hope that makes sense. So the best way to do this, I've already sketched it out here and I'm just gonna run you guys through how to do this. So make a, uh, make a line, this is a flat mark on here, this is a flat edge of the foam, this is just extra piece of the foam from the build. Um, half an inch up and extend that all the way down. So and that's going to be your base piece. Forget the bottom part for now. And then on this bottom on this flat area, uh, let me confirm. Make one mark that's four and a half inches back and four inches high. That's this mark. And connect this down to there. So it's four and a half inches back four inches high and then make another mark which is going to be the one up here 
six and three quarters inches back and four and a quarter inch high and connect that and then connect this down to a mark right here that's five let me confirm yes five and a half inches back so you get this basic shape now at this half inch below extend this down just extend this back line all the way down to the bottom and then make this mark so this is two inches back from here to here two inches back and angle that down so then you'll end up with this piece here and then uh... this little cutout area my foam board I use is about five millimeters thick so this is five millimeters thick and I left three quarters of an inch back here so then you cut that out do one of them do one and then do the other I just reversed it here you can actually do two of the same that'll work just fine cut these out all right, so I just went ahead and cut out the fins, and that's a good point in time to add anything that you're going to add to them. I like adding color. I like doing green on the right and pink on the left. Just helps keep it uh, keep my orientation in the air. And then I made sure that this little slot on here worked fine. So luckily we have these. We drew these vertical lines earlier so that we can use that to easily line up the fins. Just kind of slip it on there and lines up perfectly. So now I'm just going to glue these on. Now, while I'm here, I'm just going to glue on the motor mount. This is just a little piece of plywood. I'm not too sure how thick it is, just thin little stuff. I'm going to just glue it right on the back of here. And so I don't have it hanging down like this below the bottom. I think you can see it there because then when it lands, it can knock that off. So I make it flush to the bottom and hangs out a little bit on the top side. Let that dry. Now I'm going to add some glue in around the fins for just more structural support. So this is where we're at. The fins are on, motor mounts on, we just have to add in the servos and then add on uh, mark out for the uh, for where the other components are going and recess that. Alright, so this build is almost done. The next thing we need to do is put on the control horns. I'm just using these from Dubro. They make these little plastic ones that are really nice. So I'm going to mark on the elevon, so this is seven. Uh, sorry, this is seven inches wide here, and I'm going to come in three inches, make a mark, and I'm going to make that uh, perfectly vertical here. You can just eyeball it; that's going to be close enough for this. In my experience, it works out just fine. Three inches there, three inches here, one, two, three. All right, then you're gonna get your knife and open this up. Just start right at the hinge line and just extend back maybe half an inch. All right, now you take the control horns and you put up through the bottom. So it has that little area. It's like, it looks like this. You put it up through the bottom, then it can't pull through. Alright, then I glue it down, I put some glue on the top, and then down on the bottom. Alright, now it's going to let that dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to get my servos. <coughs> you need two servos for this plane, and then two control horns. I made these, I have a, uh, or sorry, two push rods. Uh, I have a video about how I make my push rods, you can check that out. But I made these so it's 13 centimeters long from here to here, not including these little uh, little Z-bends. And I create them uh, so the, the bends are at 90 degrees to, to one another. So it can come in here from the side and then this is pointed down. And then one for the other side. 
All right, then you hook up the servos. All right, so now I'm gonna embed the servos here in the foam. And so what I do is that I, I hold the control surface perfectly flat. And I make this perfectly vertical, the push rod. And then I trace out along the bottom of the servo here. So then from where the servo is, so that's obviously sitting on top of the phone. Once it gets embedded, the servo needs to move forward a little bit to maintain a flat control surface. So from where I am here, I go about two or three millimeters to the front. I'm gonna go two millimeters up. I'm gonna move it. All right, now you get your knife, and you want to cut out this, uh, this uh, servo pocket here. And the way that I do that is I stay inside the lines to make sure that it's tight where the servo is going to sit. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. Since last time I... Uh, I left off where I fed the servo wires up through the top of the fuselage. They come up right here. I just taped down the wires on the bottom. I added tape along the leading edge, which I recommend you do. You don't have to use colored. I like that for orientation, but it helps strengthen the leading edge just in case you crash or something like that. And I marked back here on the motor mount and add the motor. I just marked and drilled out the holes for the screws. I added tape. I recommend adding tape on here. It adds uh, a little bit more strength to a motor mount like this so you don't break it off in a landing because the glue is weak when it comes to that. Other than that, that is just about it. The last thing we need to do is mark the center of gravity. So the way I like doing that is lying up. So this is 24 and a half inches long. So there's a 24 and a half and that comes just to the nose here. And it's back it sits between 15 and a quarter and 15 and a half inches back from the nose. So I mark that out here. And then I just draw lines across. And that's where the center of gravity needs to be for this plane. I recommend definitely making it a little bit nose heavy. It adds stability to the plane. <coughs> At this point, if you're following the build, all you need to do is hook up your ESC, your receiver, and then your battery. I'm not going to show you how to do that here because it depends on what size battery you're using, how much it weighs, where it needs to go to get the center of gravity correct. But lay everything out. On my original build, I just set the ESC and the receiver on top. Then I embedded where the battery goes. And you can just secure it down with some Velcro. So... The way I embed it is I just cut out, I found out where everything needs to go to get the center of gravity, and then I just cut away just this top piece of foam, uh, just the top half, and then it recesses itself down in. And that's it. It's a really simple build. This is a great plane. Uh, I'll put some of my uh, transmitter settings below. You need to have some expos and decrease the throws on this, especially with the elevator control. But uh, other than that, this thing is ready to go. This plane will be given away in, the, uh, in my giveaway for my channel once I hit 1,000 subscribers. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what questions you have, and I hope this helps.